What's up, divas and divas? So it's your girl. You guys know what time it is. It's Thursday, synthetic wig day. I try to do them on Thursdays, especially for samsweek.com. So this one right here is by Outre, and her name is Monroe. So as you guys see, she does come in this pretty color T or 2T cry. I'm not really sure what cry stands for. It is really pretty. It looks exceptionally pretty on the model with her brown skin tones. But the only thing that... I wasn't like the hugest fan of with this wig is it didn't have any dark roots okay I can definitely try to pull it off with some dark roots but if it doesn't have that I'm not really sure how I'm gonna feel about this I don't really know how I'm gonna do this so I was thinking like April what are you gonna put in the hair like to make it look darker like before I've used mascara but you have to realize mascara can get clumpy and it's just a little bit harder to work with and then I thought about the sharpie marker but then I realized I used that on a blonde synthetic wig before and it kind of like turns like a bluish color so you really don't want to use the sharpie too much and then I was like what are you gonna use so I was thinking about it girl I was thinking about it and thinking about it I wasn't thinking that long but I was thinking enough I said you know what I got so much cream eyeliner that I'm about to try my cream eyeliners so the cream eyeliners are brow gel pomade whatever you want to call it you can use either one but you don't want it to be too 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 creamy so the one that I actually went ahead and used was from shop miss a and this is their AOA and this is wonder brow okay and they're only a dollar so you don't have to splurge a lot you can get yourself like two or three of them and you good they do work on your eyebrows as well but I do have my favorite product as I did mention that to you guys before so these were on standby just in case I ran out but it actually did come out really good for the wig so the color that I used was called ebony when you think of ebony you think of like a black color well this is more or less like a dark dark brown and I used it along with a spoolie brush which has just a smaller brush at the end and the mascara wand at the other portion which makes blending the products in so much more easier plus it will fade if gradually you kind of like ombre it lightly fade it into the hair so I did leave out a portion so that I can show you guys but I went ahead and I did the entire side you know what I'm saying because you just definitely want to make sure that the sides are done um when you're doing this a total time it took me probably like 10 minutes to do this um and it wasn't really that hard so you know before we even get into the tutorial on how to color it with the cream eyebrow pomade um, it, the wig does have the two combs in the front, and it is a right side curved part. And then there's the comb and the adjustable straps in the back. As you guys see, they basically made the netting to match the wig color. The wig color is pretty. It does come in a variety of styles. But variety of styles. I wanted to mix variety and various styles. Various styles. Like, that's kind of cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be chopping up names and making up some, too, as I go along. But... The one thing that's really cool about this wig is my silky texture. So it got some texture to it. You know what I'm saying? It's got loose waves in it. It has texture. You know what I mean? Like a light yakky texture. And it has blends of like darker gray and black in it. You may not be able to see them on camera too well, but it definitely does. And I think it's a really pretty popping color. And it actually stands for crystal. 2T crystal. So yeah, you guys. Really pretty color. I love the texture of it. It's nice and full. So that is like a super plus by Outre. So we're going to get into this real quick. I'm going to show you guys how I do the cream eyebrow pomade trick and you know if you have any synthetic wigs that don't have dark roots and you want to try it out you can definitely do that with this you can also use it on your human hair wigs as well it definitely will wash out so as you guys see i went ahead and i've started some of it for you guys right here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this end excuse me it's not gonna focus i'm gonna take this end of the brush and i'm just going to just give myself a nice amount keep in mind you will have to go back and forth you want to just hold the hair downwards like this and with this method you can definitely go as close to the hairline as you want now you want to take the angle part of the brush and just brush it downwards like so just smearing it kind of like into the unit kind of like a feathering motion and then you could take your spoolie and kind of like lighten it a little bit and just take the angle brush And you just kind of like rub it in. You see, the spoolie helps with just brushing it in and also kind of like giving it a non uniform look. And also with the cream eyebrow pomade, the consistency is a lot easier to control versus like a Sharpie marker or mascara. Okay, 
guys. So that was super easy to do. And I think like with the mascara, it just gives it more of a darker look, a natural look, as well as the Sharpie. But when you do like the cream pomade for your brows or your eyeliner that you're using, it kind of softens. It's a lot more softer. So it blends in better with the hair opposed to like Sharpie is kind of dark and harsh as well as mascara can be too. And they're not as easy to blend. You definitely can't blend the Sharpie, but you can with this. So this is the reason why I thought, let me just try this for the day. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to put some makeup on that parting and I'm going to and a little bit dig in on my dark roots. So I'm just going to go back in with that brush and just touch it up. Okay, guys. So let's try this out. See how it looks. Style it up. And if I didn't mention, this wig is available at cmbeauty.com. Alright you guys, so let's be honest, I don't really know how I feel about this wig, like Monroe is a pretty wig, it does look longer on the actual model, but I don't really think I like this wig too much, especially for the color. I think like if it was in like a natural color, it would definitely be hitting, but with this crystal, I don't know, like I just don't feel like I can pull it off. Maybe it's the white shirt, maybe I have on too much white or gray or whatever, but maybe the shirt is kind of like clashing with it, but, or maybe it's my skin tone that's clashing with it. Either way, I'm just not really like a huge fan of it. I like it on the model. She looks really nice in it with her brown skin tones, but for me, I don't think this is a win, especially because of the color. Now remember, the texture is like a light yakky texture which is great especially for the style i do like the style of it it does get really full and it's very roomy so if you have like a bigger than just above average head size or you have a lot of hair you'll definitely be able to fit this i had to kind of like cross the actual straps in the nape area over so that it could fit on me and it still has like room so it's not super duper tight so that's the one good thing about Altray in this unit um it is swiss lace it does have two combs in the front one in the back and you know the cap size is like very comfortable okay so you don't have to just be killing yourself by wearing a wig i just don't really know how i feel about the I don't really know how I feel about Monroe in general. Like every wig is not for everybody, you know what I'm saying? And I really did try to step out the box with this color because the young lady looks so nice in it, but I will know for next time, April, do not do that silver white gray color because it's not for you, honey. I think like if it was in a longer style, it probably would suit me and it wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't look so bulky, but to me, I find it to be like kind of bulky and it may feel that way because of the texture of the hair, it's bulky. Like, you know, the hair is like a light yakky texture. So it gives it more hair volume, which is great. I do like that about the wig. That's the one thing that I do like about the wig is the texture. But I think like I really should have went with a more natural color for this one. So that way I don't look kind of like crazy and washed out. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, Altrey does have some really nice units. You know, if you hit, you miss, it is what it is. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments below what you feel about this color and this wig style in general. It is heat friendly, so you can definitely put some heat to this and kind of like get some of the bulk out. So, yeah, guys, I will see you guys in a soon to come video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. All of the information will be posted for you guys below where you can get Monroe because I'm on the go. What do you know? And make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up. If you could do it two times, I would definitely make sure to tell you guys that. If you don't have your notifications on, then go ahead and put that on at this moment. And you can also follow me on Instagram. And I don't really do Snapchat as much, but you can definitely follow me on Instagram. As well as that, stay diva and diva delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Never let nobody know.